We are looking at harvesting of Mira. You can see this is one stem of Mira plant and we are now harvesting. This is on my plot in Juja, just next to Thika Road. You can see vehicles passing. You can see this gentleman. This gentleman comes from Meru. He came to show me how to harvest Mira. Mira, most Mira comes from Meru. You can see how he's doing it. He's very, very professional. He tells me when he prunes this mirror like that, then they will shoot. Zile ambazo zina shoot, zina chukua mtagani ndiyo to harvest. Ukijuni hivyo za, zile umejuni leo hivi, sasa zita chukua mtagani ndiyo tena to harvest. Omu two weeks. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Unajuna hebu nionyeshe hapo unajuna gani ndiyo inatumika sasa hivi mmm hai sasa unatengeneza ndiyo idhae mzuri yes yes aha okay okay sasa hiyo ndiyo mira eh Aha. Okay. Sasa hiyo ukitengeneza hivyo hizi ndio zinashoot. Sasa hizi zinashoot. Sasa hizi. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Aha. Unaipatia space ya kuingiza zinge. Eh eh. Eh eh. Okay. Eh. Yes. Okay. Hii kazi umeifanya muda gani my friend? Wewe ulisema unatoka wapi? Jokoria. Una 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 gani ngapi kwa kwa farm yako? Miti kama ngapi? 50. Na hiyo sasa inakulisha ina ku, watoto wanashiba eh kuna junanga mwezi kani season gani ndio imera hii haikuwa na season ndio mimi naona bora tu nisie maji bora uiweke maji ina saa tu all round okay sasa tuseme muti kama huu ukiulinda hizo hizo sasa bado ni mchanga Uta, utaishi miaka ngapi ndio ukomee kusaa ukatae kuzaa 10 years kwa hivyo from one eh oh inaweza kuwa kubwa kama hiyo eh sasa ikielekea kuwa kubwa ndio nazaa mingi eh eh okay okay sasa kwa hiyo ukiangalia hiyo unaweza kutoa pa kilo ngapi kama imelindwa vizuri Kina kilo mbili na nusu okay hey, sawa sawa Eh hey. hey. Eh inayota eh ikianza kushuti hapo natoa eh okay oh ndio hiyo aha Okay. Na mbona hiyo tumeiacha iende refu huko tu? Sasa hiyo nataka Oh, umeiset sasa. Oh. Aha. Eh. 
Yes. Eh. Eh. Kumbe sasa hii muti ni, ni utaalamu. Lazima uwe mtaalamu ndio upate faida hapa. Unaipanga. Eh. Haiwezi kuchipanga yenyewe. <laughs> Eh. Eh. Italala. Hey. Eh. Okay. Okay. Madam na wewe mbona umekuja hapa kuchuna hii? Eh. Hey. Yeah. Kazi. Ni kazi. Eh. Eh. Okay. Za eh. Eh. Yes. 50 50. Eh. Yes, yes. Okay. Na hii kazi umeifanya hii kazi ya mira umeifanya muda mrefu. Umeifanya miaka ine sasa. Miaka ine. Na unaona inakufaidi. Eh. Sasa ungepa, ungetaka dipande tena mingi alafu wewe customer wa hapa. Customer wa hapa. Eh. Eh. Tu wewe ni mkaji wa hapa Juja. Mkaji wa hapa Juja. Omngeto, mngeto na eh mngeto na jo huko nimekuwa huko nimefundisha wa mama wengine kushona vitu kule baraka judge. Najua wa, wa, wa mama huko wanabidi sana. Lakini na wengine walekevu eh kidogo lakini na okay. Sasa hapa wewe ulijoacha di muti kwa hapa au ulikucha tu kutafuta? Askari hapa. Eh. Yes. Eh. Eh. Hapo mali mimi nafanya kazi. Eh. 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 Ya mira. Eh. Ya mira kama mtaji. Eh. Hata akaniambia nikamwambia akanionyesha akachuna yeye mwenyewe. Eh. 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 Oh. Okay. <laughs> eh. Okay. Eh. 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 Huyo mama mkisi. Oh, mwanaume. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. Eh. Yes. Yes. Okay. Eh. Yes. Sasa hapa ukitoka kwa jamba hivi kilo una unachukua na ngapi? Eh eh. Eh. Okay. Sasa wewe ukifanya uhusiano na huyu na kwa sasa the customer mwenyewe hakuna mtu atakuwa anaingia huku. Eh. Okay. Sawa sawa. Sasa hiyo unatoa. Eh. Oh, lazima ipatie ile nyingine space. Okay. Okay, hata huko ni ulisema ni kutoa. Okay. Eh uh eh. -huh. Okay. Sawa sawa. Mhm. Uh -huh. He is now pruning it, is managing this tree. He says he doesn't they don't have to be so many stems in one place so that there is enough foliage and also enough space and enough food for the tree. He manages it. This is scientific management. If you don't know how to keep Mira, you cannot get profit. Where to fight Ika Kama Udwi, Mambo Ya Kutunza Umti. Ni mali, lakini kutunza ni amulazima ujue Otherwise, utakuwa tunamuti na hausai matunda Naona vile sasa anachuna, ana 
ana prune anaifanya sasa the remaining one iwe inazaa vizuri and this what is now tunering what is cutting will become our uh, agro waste dry material this will be converted into charcoal pipettes we shall make char dust through a, a, a local chimney and we shall make uh, the, 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 the energy as i said this these are now these are uh, cassava and this cassava was planted so that the root the cassava itself when we make a paste out of cassava kind of porridge out of cassava then we shall make it become the binder for the charcoal briquettes that we shall generate out of this agro waste so in other words everything in this uh, everything in this farm is supposed to be uh, economical i mean put into economic use this is it just two three stems of of mira here i'm now encouraged like the lady has said i'm encouraged to plant more and he says this offshoot that are shooting from back down there they are actually the seeds we just remove them and we transplant them and can see how they are harvesting na mzee mbona nao uko karibu sana umekuja unafanya hii kazi unaijuaje hii kazi au unafundishwa leo eh oh hii ni kazi ngumu hapa sana okay yes yes Kumbe hii ukuchuna tena ina ujuzi. Kwa ajili ya kuchuna mbaya. Eh. Yes. Yes. Lakini hii ni sasa ni training hata. Huyu ni mtaalamu sasa. Ni kama machani chai lazima ujue. Naona mama wa kijana wa chani chai anaraka raka tu anatupa kunyuma nini lakini ujui kama anatumia ujuzi unaweza kufikiria na ni mataa ujua anachuna kumbe iko ujuzi Yes Okay okay inapata stress kwa sababu kuna penye kwenda yeye inafanya eh 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 okay Yes sasa wewe hapa unajua hapa ni kwangu vile sasa umeanza ku kilikana na huyu madam na huyu ni lazima tutamchukua kuja atufundishe huku hata unaweza kutransplant hizo ambao unasema hizi ndogo ndogo utuambie hiyo pande hii tuweke hiyo fence yote i mean iwe kama fence lakini sasa ni ni, 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 ni mira utatuambia utarudi nitakuita urudi Eh hey, hata kama unataka kitu ya siku lazima maana hiyo ni kama ni training eh hey, ni ma, hey, najua sitaki kutumia mtu bure eh hey, na nimechukua siku yake angekuwa amefanya kitu kingine palingine akikuja hapa tutaongea eh hey, unajua eh hey. yes Eh. Umefanya vizuri. Maana unaharibu leo na kesho. Eh. 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 Okay. Na mawaida ya mazuri. Nipatie mawaida mazuri. Okay. Mm. 
예. 예. Kitambuende, Maze. You can see this is my one half of an acre plot in Juja. Juja on Tika Road, Nairobi Tika Road. You can see I'm just on the main road. Those are vehicles passing. You can see them behind the, the fence. They are passing. I have some structures here where my workers uh, can stay. I have a few mango trees. Mango trees you can see. There are mango trees and, and, and avocado trees. You can see this particular mango is already flowering, yet others are not flowering, which means that this is uh, has got its own season. This one will have its own season. So I can have like two seasons of mango production. Here I have planted beans and cowpeas. In between the beans and cowpeas, we have space. And therefore, in terms of vegetables, we are self-sufficient. Here you have maize. This is maize. Still on quarter an acre. Maize on quarter an acre. The other quarter are fruits and vegetables. Here you can see agro waste. This dry matter. We use it to make charcoal crickets. We have a chimney, we have a kiln. We convert this dry matter into char dust. And then we mix the char dust with a binder. In this case, our binder will be cassava, which you have seen that I've planted out there. You can see at the far end there are cassava stems. Here is cassava. This cassava is planted not for eating, not for consumption, but we have planted it so that we make binder. And the binder, all the, the acro waste that you can see in between the, 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 the cassava stems and all these uh, uh, trees, tree leaves, these ones are the ones that we shall convert into char dust and using a binder go on to convert into a charcoal prequet. What you are seeing here is organic fertilizer. These are droppings from the chicken. You can see far there we have a chicken house. We just sold uh, the, the, the ones that were ahead of uh, two years laying eggs. So now we want to replace them. Now the droppings, we, we, we come with the, uh, with the char dust and we put it in the house, sawdust, sorry not char dust but sawdust, we put it in the house, the chicken are comfortable but the droppings when they mix with the sawdust, they become manure and this is the manure that you can see here. This manure is what we are using to plant uh, crops in this garden. You can see we have now just transplanted tomatoes. 
we transplanted them from that those seed bed that you see out there. And here is aloe tree, I mean aloe plant. This aloe or aloe vera which you want is now medicine for my chick chicken. When you make juice from this and you put in drinking water of the chicken, then it is preventative. Our diseases do not attack my chicken as oftenly as. I can tell you uh, around here there was an outbreak of chicken and mine survived because of that kind of, uh, of care. Up there you can see those, that wooden, the wooden house. It's also chicken. So here I have about, I keep about 400 chicken. Here I keep about one, 200 to 300. So in total I can have about 500 chicken. Now if 500 chicken are all laying, let's say 90% uh, efficiency, then you'll get, call it even 400 eggs per day. If you get 400 eggs per day, and you are selling an egg at 10 bob, we are, you are talking about 4,000 Kenya shillings per day. 4,000 in one month. 4,000 in one month is about 120 thousand shillings. Now 120 thousand shillings from this is less than an eighth. Of course when you remove the cost, the inputs, you are talking about 80,000. 80, 70 to 80,000 a month. So in a year, if you are talking of 70, in a year, you are talking of, is it 86 or 860? Now compare that with the land, let's say in Bungoma, one acre, somebody tilling maize and harvesting maize only once in a year. And he harvest, even if he has harvested very well, he has harvested 25 bags. 25 bags are going at maybe, if it's doing very well, 3,000 per bag. So 25 times 3. You are talking of 75. So, 3,000 times 25 bucks, 75,000 a year from an acre. Tilling maize. My maize here will not be sold dry. I'm going to sell it as green cops. This are, you can, you, can, you can count, they are going to give me about 1,000 stems. All this, those are 1,000 stems. 1,000 stems, and if managed very well, each stem will produce two cups. Two cups, 1,000, that is 2,000 cups. I'll sell the 2,000 cups. Again, to be fair to the people who are going to roast, doing roast maize, maize roasting, I'll give them at 750, call it 10. So 2,000, 10, that is 20,000. From this quarter of an acre, and this is after three months. So 20,000 after three months. I can do two seasons and I get 40,000 in one year on quarter an acre, 80,000. And somebody at home in Bungoma doing one acre, 75,000 a year, and I'm getting 80,000. And that's on a quarter an acre. So, maize, if you want to be you want it to be profitable, you have to get minimum, optimum size, 10 acres for you to be profitable. To be more, even more profitable, if you can sell them when they are still green, you will get better profits than when you wait until they dry because of the inputs, the expenses, 
and so on and so forth. And the prices of the finished, the dry maize is not as lucrative. Ahead of me here, you can see this is a fruit tree. This is a tangerine. It is just flowery. You can see it's flowery. It has flowered. It is padding. Those are now fruits coming out. Out there is another mango tree. So, here you are, Juja, Tika Road, half an acre, Mal mixed farming, and you get value for your land in probably throughout the year.